Hey guys, so I am back with another video, but today we are going to be doing a review on the Juvia's Place Loose Highlighters. I have all four of them that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I'm going to be swatching them, which honestly, swatching highlighters are kind of like, because you, it, it like, seeing it in person, seeing it on my arm doesn't really do it justice. But I am going to swatch them so you guys see them. They are all different tones, even though they may end up looking the same on my arm. They aren't at all. And when you put them on your face, they are not the same. Just to give you a heads up, I will go through um, every, every highlighter and I will let you guys know which one is, is my favorite at the end. Um, yeah, so stay tuned um, to the video. ordered all four actually I ordered them when they were on sale so I got all of them for like $35 maybe um so that was a really good deal like I think they were like 30% off or something on the site one day I don't know I, it, I don't know but I got it when they were on sale and they, I paid like $35 for all four of them um I am wearing one of them right now which I will let you guys know which one that I'm wearing a little bit later but I am wearing one of them right right now in my inner corner here in a little bit a little bit you can't really see it because I don't I usually don't like doing this um, with highlighter because I just don't like I like my skin to be matte um, but I did apply a little bit here just for the sake of the video you know so I'm gonna start with the the Nubian ones um, so I'll start with Nubia and Nefertiti I'm gonna start with those first so you guys I'm gonna start with this one is the this is Nubia I'll show you guys the packaging up close. Their packaging is always super pretty, super just clean sheet of, of, of everything. This is the size of the highlighter. Now, when I usually buy highlighters, which I rarely do, you guys know your girl use the same inner tear duct highlight, and I don't highlight on my cheeks like that. So when I usually buy them, they're either like pressed or baked or something like that. They're never loose. I don't have any. Be too much. I'm gonna shake a little bit of these, you guys. So. I'm just going to swatch it because I'm not really going to be able to show it to you guys in the pan. Um, so I'm going to start right here so you guys can see. So that is um, Nubia. It's super pigmented. You guys can see that. Super pigmented. Really good pigment. This would be so pretty on the eyes. For me. Like for somebody like me. So that is Nubia. Um, like I said, I've, I've used these, so this is really just going to be a review, but I wanted to swatch them as well. Next, I'm going to go in with Nefertiti, which it looks like this. It's the white packaging. So pretty. Packaging is so pretty. Like, I hate throwing out the packaging. Um, with the palettes, I throw them out because they have the same, pa the, the palettes actually have the same images on them, so I throw the packaging out for this. These, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to throw them away, which I'll get to that one later. Um, this one kind of looks like it's going to be like a pinky one. Um, I believe this is the pinky one. Yeah, this is kind of pinky. I know you guys are like, bitch, that looks the same. But it's not. It's actually pretty different. I'm going to actually, I'm going to actually, let me turn some of these lights off, actually. Because I want you guys to get the full gist. Okay, let's keep the ring light on. I feel like that's at the tone. So honestly, they do look similar, but they're really not, guys. Like they are. Sorry, I'm trying to get. I'm gonna have to turn a little bit that way. Okay. So I want to say this one's like kind of pinky. Like in the pan, it looks very pinky. So I feel like depending on like your skin tone, it's gonna give off a certain vibe. But this one's definitely like more pink like okay and then the last two are from royalty one and royalty two so i'm going to start with royalty two it's a little bit more champagne i'm going to kind of i feel like these two is when you can really tell they're different this light is so bright it's not doing it justice like it's really really not 
this is kind of like a white I don't know if you guys can see it it's like I feel like it's not doing it justice it's completely different this is kind of more like a like a champagne-y color this one this is royalty 2 right here it's kind of more like a champagne I'm gonna swatch royalty 1 which is actually the one that I have on today um, so I have it right here in my inner tear duct and on my nose and I have a little bit right, right there if you guys can tell um, royalty one this is like probably my favorite actually royalty one and royalty two are my favorite because they're like kind of more of like on the bronzy side I feel like they're similar royalty one it's more on like the goldish side which I love gold sorry I'm trying to get this right Okay. Okay. And that's royalty too. I know you guys are like, bitch, those are not different. They are different. Okay? They are. Hopefully when I take a picture, you'll be able to see them. Um, this one's kind of more like champagne-y, which is royalty two. Royalty one is more gold-ish. Um, like a bronzy gold. I don't know how to explain it because these two are kind of a little bit lighter. Um, like I feel like these would be good lid colors for me like when I'm doing like a very nice glam eye I feel like those would be really good for me um, these I kind of like these are the kind of tones that I like when I highlight like my inner tear duct and my nose and things like that and like I said Juvia's Place packaging it's always super nice if they never disappoint when it comes to the packaging um, this is a really good size um, especially since you can use it for eyeshadows you know highlight your lips if you use a mix and medium like you can use this all over your face so that's one thing I really really like it's definitely multi-purpose um I love the consistency consistency of them they're very very fine um they are very pigmented um on each one as you call that I did one swatch and it was like boom um so the consistency is really really good so I like that a lot um, or the pigment is really, really good. Let me close it. I keep looking at myself. Um, so I definitely really, really like them. Um, for some loose highlighters, honestly, I'm probably not going to buy no more loose highlighters after this because, um, one, I don't usually wear loose highlighters. Um, and I feel like having four of these is enough. Um, I don't feel like I need a whole bunch of loose highlighters. I, there, like in the Sahara palette, there are a couple of highlights in there. I do have my other highlight that I always use. But I feel like these four are like a good range. I mean, how many different highlighters do you really need? I feel like it don't get no better than these four. I feel like you don't need a wide range of loose highlighters. I feel like it's not necessary. I feel like these four are a good start and probably a good finish. Um, if they do come out with more, great. I'll probably pick them up because I have everything from Juvia's Place. Except for like their lips. I don't have a lot. I have I have four of their lips. Um, but those came out with collection. So um, I have everything from them. So I'll probably just buy it as like a makeup collector. Um, I would probably buy them or I want to say Juvia's Place collector because I feel like Juvia's Place is the only brand that I like buy everything they put out as far as like eyeshadows, blushes, and now the highlighters. I have a good finish. I love them. They're super pigmented. I'll probably use all of them at some point. But my favorite right now that I've been literally wearing constantly is the Royalty One. Right up my alley. The tone and everything is right up the Ronelle alley. Okay, like... I would pick this up without hesitation. If I swatched this in a store, I'd be like, oh, she's the one. So if I like if you want to pick up one and you don't want to pick up all four, try the, the and you're like around my tone, try royalty one and royalty two. Royalty one is definitely my favorite if you're just looking, you know, just to pick up one and add try out one first. Try royalty one for sure. Um, it's my favorite. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for the review. I don't think I have much else to go. I mean, they're highlighters. They're pretty simple. I have, um, I also have one of their lippies on today. This is Lulu, which is the bomb. I think I posted a side by side of Afrique and Lulu. Um, just so you guys know, a lot of people are like, isn't that the same shade, red? 
no it's not it's different I thought the same thing when I looked on online they kind of look the same but when you apply it honey it's different this is kind of a little I don't know how to explain it but they're different um, I posted a side by side on Instagram if you guys want to check that out go there follow me on Instagram at total diva Ray. just so you know um, but yeah that's it for the video guys I hope you guys enjoy this video um, I know you guys are gonna ask about my earrings um, they're gonna be coming soon that's all I can tell you for now um, and I think there I only have a couple pairs of these so when these drop they're probably gonna be gone I'm not gonna have many of these because I feel like these are like really unique earrings and I don't want to like have a whole bunch just shipped I only have about two maybe three of these um that I have that I'm gonna they're gonna be up on my site um anyway so thank you so much for stopping in and checking out this video I hope you guys enjoy again don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you saw today and I will see you guys next time bye